In this problem, we have this box that's compressing the spring here. This box will be released, and the spring will push the box out, and it'll leave with some velocity. And we need to find this velocity. Well, I'm going to start by writing my work equation. Work is going to be equal to E2 minus E1, where this work will be work done by friction. We're also neglecting air resistance, so the only non-conservative work will be done by friction. Energy 2 will be when the block is in motion, it'll only be kinetic. So work of friction will be equal to the kinetic energy of the block minus the energy initial is just the energy in the spring, which will be potential of spring. So this will be work of friction is equal to 1 half mv squared minus 1 half kx squared. Now we need to find a few things. We need to find what work of friction is. I'll write that here. And we're ultimately solving for this velocity. So to find work of friction, I want to draw a quick free body diagram of this box. It'll look like this. This box will have gravity. That'll point straight down. This will be mg. Box will have normal force. That'll point up. I'll call this fn. I'll just say that up is positive and that down will be negative. This box is also going to have friction. Since it's being accelerated that way, the friction will point in the opposite direction. I'll call this FF. I'll start with Newton's second law. F equals MA. This will be in the Y. There is no Y acceleration because this box doesn't jump off the ground or sink into the floor. So that'll be zero. The force in the Y will be FN, which will be positive, and MG, which will be negative. So it'll be FN minus MG is equal to zero, so Fn is equal to mg. Now, force of friction is equal to mu Fn, so the force of friction will be equal to mu mg. Now, work is given as a force dot product its displacement. Now, what's this displacement? Well, if you look at this diagram, this spring will be compressed, and then it'll push this box along all the way through here, and it'll release it right here. So the distance this block will travel is the same as the distance that the spring is compressed. So the work of friction will be equal to the force of friction, will be mu mg dot product, the displacement, which will just be x. Now the definition of the dot product says that the work of friction will be equal to the magnitude of mu mg times the magnitude of the displacement times cosine of the angle between them. I'll call this theta. Well, it's going to be displaced in that direction, but the force of friction is pointing to the left. So between these, this angle is going to be 180 degrees. So theta will be 180 degrees. All this means is that this will be negative because cosine of 180 is negative 1. So I can just say the work of friction is equal to negative mu mg x. Now I can plug this work of friction right into here. I'll get negative mu mg x is equal to 1 half mv squared minus 1 half k x squared. Since I'm solving for V, I'll get this term by itself on one side. I'll start by making myself some room over here. I'll get 1 half mv squared is equal to 1 half kx squared minus mu mgx. I'm going to multiply the two to both sides and also divide by the mass. I'll get v squared is equal to kx squared over m minus 2 mu mg x over m. These masses will cancel. I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and I'll get that v is equal to the square root of k x squared over m minus 2 mu g x. And that is your final answer. Thank you for watching.